Okay. This is the Jenkins Advocacy and Outreach SIG meeting. Today is Thursday, June, July 11th. Um, on the agenda, I have GSOC, our contributor spotlight stories, efforts to strengthen community, um, recognizing financial contributions, and our next meeting. Is there anything else we need to add to the agenda? Not for my side. Thank you. Chris? No. Nope. All right. Cool, cool. Okay, so GSOC, our midterm presentations took place this morning. I thought the meetup, the presentations went well. Um, everybody seemed prepared and they made good progress. What do you guys think? Is there any room for improvement? There always is room for improvement, but frankly, we were on time. The presentation were good. Um, yeah, nothing much to add. Um, nothing much to add. Uh, Chris, uh, what's your insight about that? I think it's like we got some very good presentations this time because the quality of work overall is quite mm -hmm. good this mm -hmm. year. So I'm quite happy about the presentations. Okay. Um, I think we, we had very good uh, time management this time around. So mm -hmm. we just, yeah, we, we had, uh, we, 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 we have like five presentations this year, which is a little yeah. bit better than last year. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. We did, yeah. Yeah, we timing was 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 good. Good, good. Um, and then as I saw your note, Chris, so all the midterm evaluations are in. Yes. Yep. yep. So thanks for letting us know. So that's that's good. Um, and then contributor spotlight stories. I did the pull request and thank you, Bruno, for your help with that. Uh so we got we're ahead of schedule. Got the pull request in for Marcus Winter. And that is hoping to get that published for March, July 16th. And then um, I think for the spotlight story, so probably my story will, will be next or Darren Pope's. So at least we have two stories left in the queue. So if there's anything, anybody else that we want to um, spotlight their story, please let me know so we can work on it in advance. Um, I yeah. I was like, I'm not sure if it's a good idea or not. Should we mm -hmm. try to ask Viviento for like a uh, spotlight, even though like uh, it's, uh, it's not always there for GSOC? Okay. So for a couple of years, I think. And how active has he been, Chris? He, he's been there. It's like I, I, I see he's still being active, but it's, it, it would kind of like work like an encouragement to him, I think. Mm. But I'm not, sure. I'm not sure. It can be kind of controversial as well. Okay. Yeah, because I think Bruno might have some objections to it. <laughs> <laughs> I might, but I like your positive way of thinking. That might act as an encouragement. And I like that mm -hmm. very much. Yeah. Okay. Because he did do some reviews for us this, this time around. Like, I think last year he, he disappeared in the middle. Maybe he, he I think he might have gotten this discouraged because like he didn't get to um like um how should i say it's like didn't, didn't get to be um involved much in the project even though he volunteered to help mm -hmm. out yeah this okay. time more and oh I this time is more yeah it's staying longer oh good last, last last time this year he's disappeared i think for bonus project okay yes yeah. okay all right. Um, and then strengthening community efforts. So thank you, Chris, and 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 congrats for overcoming all the hurdle to get that on the page. I know there was lots of opinions, and it, I know it wasn't easy, but yeah. thank you, thank you for that work. It it looks it looks great. I mean, it's I think it's long overdue. Um, like you know. We should have done this like before, but um, we have it done now. So Yay. it looks good. Um, so 
it's on so we know that it's on the contributor spotlight story do you think that we could have it on other pages so i talked to mark um he said that i mean we can tackle this thing one at a time but it's up to you chris i'm you know we're not forcing but kind of like asking but um that the plugins page that is the most visited pages okay well, i could do that if if um if um, I think for the plugins page, who who's maintaining it for that one? Do you guys know? I have, I have no I have idea. I have no idea. Yeah. Either. <laughs> okay, so may I can take an action item to find out. So I can do it. I'll, I'll, I'll try to do it. Do some investigations first to see. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay, so Chris, you you want you're gonna do some uh, investigative work on there. Let me know if I can help with anything. Yeah, I'll, I'll submit a PR and I will tag you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I I think for like for right now, maybe you know uh, we can start out with we'll work one page at a time. I don't know what you guys thought, um, what your thoughts are, but. You know, we, the plugins page, most visited page, and then root page on Jenkins.io. Yeah. What's a possible Kevin page on those page? If we, if I can get it to Jenkins.io landing page, mm -hmm. we could get it to downloads page easily. Mm -hmm. But for some stories, I think, um, and that's a separate story. That, that should be able to be done too, I think. Mm hmm yeah okay um let's see so eta should be end of august for these would that be okay oh yeah that's it's yeah we're we're just grateful that you're <laughs> don't don't stress out on this chris i know things you know may come up so yeah you know yeah yeah, yeah. i'm just gonna put this here but we're not gonna hold you to it okay, okay? yeah because we we want to make sure that we respect your time yeah okay yeah okay thank you chris anything else we need to discuss on this topic Nope. Good. All right. Um, and then Bruno, I will take, I'll give you the lead. Uh, take, I'll let you take the lead on this one if it's okay. Yeah, of course. Thank you, Alisa. Well, so we discussed in the previous meetings about recognizing financial contributions because people are allowed to give some money to the Jenkins project thanks to um, a website uh, set up by the Linux Foundation. So Jenkins receives this, receives some money uh, from time to time from individual or for from companies, but for the time being, we are not showing that directly on the Jenkins.io website. Mm -hmm. So the idea is first to gather the data, uh, which we have done. The two pull requests have been merged. So now on the Jenkins.io repo, we have a JSON file containing the list of the latest donors. And we also have an automated um, update process that will update this JSON file each and every month. But there is no um, display on the result website for the time being. There is no page showing the current donors. So there is one thing uh, to do. And once more, it's a front end job. Uh, reading the JSON file and using that data to craft a page somewhere in the website that would show the donors. I think uh, we could have a draft PR uh, one of these days, but uh, this will gather attention uh, from the rest of the community, I guess, because that's a subject that has been on the table for quite some months. Not the donors subject, but the how do we thank um, sponsors, people and or company that help Jenkins in a way or another. So mm -hmm. there has always already been some discussion with um, Basil, Mark, and other people from the community. So of course we could create a page quite easily, but um, 
I'm not so sure that we will be able to display it quite easily uh, and quite fast because there will be some discussion on where should this go, how should this look, and so on and so on. And once more, we need a front-end developer, which I am not, unfortunately. So one thing that Mark mentioned was, I think on Jenkins.io at the moment, um, we have, this is what we, this is what we have, but I think uh, Mark was looking to have it like tiered because right now everybody's kind of like on equal uh, playing field. So one of the things that, you know, I think we need to also differentiate are the different tiers and I'll look into it. I, I, I wanna see what like the Linux foundation has or CDF have. Yeah. Yeah. And then there's the other thing that, um, you know, there's, you know, there's people who made monetary contributions like $5, $20, $100, $1,000. $1, so do we list them all out or do we list any of that or none or, you know, oh, I think do we that's do a random first. thank you like uh, we did for contributors? I don't know. Yeah. And yeah. frankly, to be honest, I removed the amount from the JSON file. Mm -hmm. um, so we don't know uh, on purpose. Yeah. Yeah. So I think there's more to be discussed on this. Yes. Okay. All right. So more legwork for us to do. Um, so I'll, we'll leave this here and I'll, I'll update our minutes later. Thanks, Bruno, for that. Um, anything else we need to discuss on this topic other than we have lots of work to do? <laughs> <laughs> Not from my side. Chris. Oh, yeah. Should we keep, keep the, the, the acknowledgement, the financial contributions acknowledgement on the, on the landing page still? Or should we have a separate page for it? Sorry. I think it should be in the same location as before, except it should be tuned. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, we'll think about this a little bit more and then um, we'll discuss more about it once we have okay. something. I'll, I'll probably create a Google document and we can start planning and get getting input from others as well. Yeah, I think Mark may have a lot to, to say about this. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. I shall do that. And then, um, so I will be out at the end of the month just for a couple of days. So our next meeting will be August 8th. So, um, you know, allow Chris to go to bed early and um, Bruno to <laughs> do something. <laughs> have some time. Yeah, have some time in the evening. <laughs> Okay. Thank you both. Thank you, I don't Lisa. have anything else. All right. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.